So one of the things I love most about my job is that I have these long-standing relationships with my patients. For example, the lady in this video, I've known her for a long time, and um, she's had some pretty tough times recently that you hear her talk about. And so um, it's typical nails. Thank you, honey. And uh, enjoy the video. Oh, it could be in contact with the virus. I just don't go places. Mm -hmm. He's not. Ouch. Sorry. Not much. Ooh. I gotta think of something to distract myself. <laughs> no, I, I pretty much stay home. But I still digging myself out of the legal, I, sh I shouldn't say mess, but the legal challenge I had after all that. Um, well, it's not that his will wasn't in good order, and it's not that Bill didn't keep good records, it's just that he kept them all. <laughs> That's right, we talked about that last yeah. time, I think. Yeah. And, then, and, and, and then what I came to is I, I, I sorted everything through. Uh, we have late property, mm -hmm. and it's in an LLC. And then we own late property in common with my brother-in-law, which is also in the LLC, but his part of it is not. So, and then uh, we've gone, and with uh, my family having shrunk, my sons are both gone, I've just got daughters now. The, there only are two branches of the family now, and so the LLC operating agreement had to be totally redone. Mm -hmm. And I had to do it, which hmm. isn't my interesting stuff in the world to read. Um, uh, about liability and indemnification and all the rest of that. So you had to redo the LLCs? Yes. I, I mean, I'm assuming you have a lawyer working he, with oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a lawyer who did it in the first place. I worked with him. Okay. And I said, these are the things that have to be changed. And so we're working on getting it uh, uh, changed so that when I'm gone, my daughters can, can live with it. That it'll be a document that they, that they that's useful to them. Because mm -hmm. uh, I... What I've got now isn't really useful to me, actually. I gotta, it's got to be redone. So that's what I've been working on. Well, that'll take up a lot of your day, huh? Well, it has. It's been taking up quite a bit of time. Yeah. So we complain about that, and then we kind of take a step back and go, really, what else do we have to do right now? Well, see, th you know, uh, that's exactly what I've been thinking. I thought to myself now, just the other day, I got up and I thought, oh, I've got to get at that again. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm just on Article 3. <laughs> there are about 10. Uh, but then I thought, you know, I can't go anyplace. Uh, I live in a nice little compact condominium that doesn't take a lot of housework. Mm -hmm. And I've already answered all the Christmas letters that, I, that were ones that I hadn't taken care of before Christmas. I've done all that, so what do I do? So I might just as well do it, I guess. Right. So that's what I do. Did it bleed? Did it bleed? My, so the toenails, did they bleed? No, I don't see any bleeding. Oh, good. All right, let's get these things. Helps if you turn the machine on. Let's get these thinned out. a different head that maybe won't vibrate as much. Yeah. Is that better? Mm -hmm. That's better.
one did bleed. Is that out? Yeah. Okay. So, do you want me to do the rest of these just with an emery board? I can't thin them out with that. But if you're just not in a place right now where you think you can tolerate not much. two more minutes of this? I'll go ahead. I'll try it. Okay. You stop me if you need to, and we'll just thin out, or we'll just get rid of all the sharp spots with the emery board, okay? Okay. They're not as thin as I'd like to get them, but you know what? This is okay. That's all I can do. Yeah, if it's all you can do, it's all you can do. You know, I do have some patients tell me that coming here is worse than the dentist. It is. <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, they bring Novocaine, see. Mm -hmm. But I can't, I can't numb every toe. No, you can't do that. Now, do you ever um, take any Advil or Tylenol before you come? To? I did, as okay. much as I dare. Okay. I've had, uh, you know, two extra drinks. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'll tip you back here a little bit. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, I know. I know. You can't, you can't numb everything. And the dentist, I, my dentist, I tell you, I mean, you don't even walk in there without your motorcade needle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a lot of trouble with the dentist, too. Yeah. It's not just this. Yeah. You know, so sometimes, I mean, not on a every month basis, but... Um, yeah, ask your doc about maybe some low-dose Xanax before you come in. Well, the, the, the kettles, that, that, that part isn't bad. I don't mind that. Okay. It's the nails. Yeah. Uh, and you're not alone. And I, you're not alone. A lot of people feel that way. Well, I just have a very low pain threshold. Uh, you know, I've had joint replacements, and it's been a huge problem, pain control. Huge. Because huh. I can't take opioids either. Okay. And so I know Dr. Tyner is my my orthopedic surgeon, uh -huh. and he's done a number of things for me since took back, going back to 2003. And uh, the big problem is not the joint or the surgery or the healing or anything; it's pain control. It's, it's a big, big problem. Yeah. Uh, I can use Dilaudid, <clears throat> but Dilaudid, but they hate to give you that. Right. No. 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 But it's the only thing that really. I mean, there there are some other things. Sometimes, um, you know, I remember seeing um, uh, local anesthetic pumps that can be inserted around the surgical site. Oh yeah, they do that. Okay. And um, I, but you know, it doesn't last. It lasts for a little while, then they can't keep feeling it. There is some local anesthetic now that's out that lasts twelve hours or okay. more. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I've You've had, had that. I've had that too. Yeah, when they did, when they did this elbow thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I, and that and it's all good. It's just that it. it you can't it, go in every twelve hours and have them reinject. No, no. Well, they wouldn't anyway. I know. I'm kidding with you. But with the, with joint stuff, the only thing that I can really uh, rely on for any relief at all is ice. Lots and lots of ice. I just pack. Now, there are some electrical stim type of units that can block pain. Yeah, I've never had one of those. Okay. Nobody's ever done that for me. But they were really popular 15 years ago. Alpha stim, they call it, or just e-stim. Are they still used? 
I haven't seen one in a really long time, but I can't imagine that they wouldn't be because it's for exactly the kind of pain control you know, you're describing. It's like a TENS unit that gets very localized to uh -huh. one spot uh -huh. Uh -huh. and keeps that spot, kind of overloads the nerve endings. Well, we gotta ask, the next time I have anything like that, I gotta ask about it because, yeah. because pain control is a big problem. Now, do you want me to put a pad on here for you? Well, except that if, if, I guess if I can soak it off on water. Yeah, you can. Because I, I can't pull it off. Yeah, these will soak off. So I'll just soak it off in the shower. Yep. Because I can't pull it off. Okay. Yeah, and the biggest issue here is you just have no fat pad no. under no. the bones there. And um, But I don't know why one foot does it and the other doesn't. Um you know, it's never completely symmetrical. I see that with mo most of my patients who have issues with the fat pad decreasing. Mm -hmm. That one foot is always worse oh, yeah, than the other. Really is. Yeah. All right. So this really, uh, it's not bleeding, but I'm going to put a little Band-Aid on it with some antibiotic. No, that's okay. You can do that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for letting us do the video. Oh, you're welcome.